Hi Sagittarius, welcome to your June monthly tarot reading. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope that you are well. This is a general reading for any sun, moon, or rising Sagittarius sign. And we can use the cards to get a sense of the energies and messages for the month so that you can uh, use this information to help guide you. So let's see what the cards would like us to know for you, Sagittarius, in June. Okay, so the first two cards are cards of uh, ideas or, or concepts to be aware of. It's really, I, I just refer to them as, as the awareness cards of this spread. So we're starting with the major arcana card of judgment. And judgment is a card, uh, as you can see, the, the angel is blowing the horn. It's almost like a call to these people rising out of their coffins to listen to me. It's time for you to check in. It's time for you to think about your life right now. Are you where you want to be? Are you doing things that make you satisfied, that make you happy? Uh, you know, are you uh, living the best life that you can lead? This card is often like a second chance or a rebirth or a chance to transform your life. It's because you're reviewing your own life. You're taking stock of what has gone before, where you are right now, what you want to do for the rest of your life. And you know, you're never too old to change directions and you're never, you, know, you could do it at any age if you feel you're not on the right path then this is really asking you, how can you best serve yourself? How can you live a life uh, that is joyful and abundant and fulfilling and satisfying? So, you know, you're thinking about, you're thinking about what is the best path for you? You know, maybe you've been in a job that hasn't been rewarding and now you're going to start to look at careers or opportunities that are more in line with your passion. So then we have the Nine of Cups. So what's interesting is this Nine of Cups, water sign, dealing with emotions. You can see that he's sitting here. He looks rather content and happy. He has nine full cups behind him. So this is a card of being happy with what you've uh, accomplished, what you've created, what you've worked for, and enjoying those comforts. So even though here we have the judgment card, which is saying take stock of your life, perhaps you may have everything that you uh, want or need, but maybe it's, you just feel that something is missing. And, you know, this is a card of, of uh, abundance material comforts, and it should be as well spiritual abundance. And sometimes it's hard to find both. You may have been thinking, gosh, I've worked so hard for so long. I have everything that I want, but I'm still not there yet. What is it? And so the judgment card is really making you reflect and thinking about what is it that's going to bring you happiness and fulfillment uh, regardless of the things and the material objects or the comforts that you've created at home. The Nine of Cups is also a wish card, so make a wish this week and uh, it should come true. So now I'm going to choose two cards for guidance. Wow, so interesting. The Four of Cups, you know, here we have a judgment taking stock. We have contentment, but perhaps there's something else to think about. And then we have the Four of Cups. And this Four of Cups, we see 
this man sitting below a tree and he's staring in front and he's in solitude. He is uh, purposely withdrawn. He may be considering again where he is right now. Often we might associate this card with discontent, but this could be reflection. This could be again, a taking stock type of card that maybe you are dissatisfied, dissatisfied and you're really thinking about it a lot. And that affects you because here you're missing opportunities. There's the little puff hand handing the cup to him. He doesn't even see it. And that can be missed opportunities. So, you know, this tells me that there's a lot of thinking here going on behind the scenes of what is, you know, what is, what's going on in my life. Am I in the right relationship? Am I in the right job? Am I in the right location? So as guidance here, we have the Knight of Wands. And the Knight of Wands brings this zest for life to jump in, to have fun, to have adventures, to have experiences that make you feel good. And so maybe what you're missing this week is you're missing a little adventure and maybe you need something for a spark and to bring that spark into your uh, daily routine. And maybe that's breaking up your routine and doing something different. And that could be, you know, maybe you take the same route to work every, every day. Maybe if you left an hour early and just took a different way or did something out of the ordinary that that could just uh, just create a new, uh, new feeling. This night and this energy of the night, this fire energy is about passion, is about being creative and being inspired and inspiring others. He's taking charge and he's doing things. He's not sitting around waiting for life to happen. He's getting into it. So, you know, it, it seems that there's a lot of reflection time alone and maybe the time to be alone is over get back in the game when I see the wands card it makes me think of a lot of activity a lot of networking meeting with people hanging out uh, dinners uh, happy hours soccer games and then I'm going to choose two cards and this is the possible outcomes for the week Okay, so we have the Nine of Wands. And the Nine of Wands is a sense of uh, possible outcomes that you can see the war wounded warrior here is standing. He's holding on to that wand. He's got his eyes looking over as if to say, oh my goodness, what's next? And I'm going to be standing here. I'm going to give it my best shot. I may be bruised. I may be tired, but I'm still standing. I'm still in the game. So I feel as if you're going to have to situation where you have to protect yourself. You may have to defend yourself. You may have to defend someone in your family. Uh, and, you know, it's easy to quit and lay down the wands and walk away. And it takes a lot of courage and it takes perseverance and it takes a lot of uh, grit to keep standing. So there is something where you're going to have to Defend yourself or perhaps defend your family. It might very well be something related to family. Here's the Ten of Pentacles. And this is regarding the legacy of your family and the generations. You see the dogs and the older man, the patriarch, and you see the couple and then the child. And it's about uh, working hard to provide for the family in terms of investments and providing stability and a firm foundation and looking out for all generations from the children to the elders to make sure that you're able to take care of them. So perhaps protecting something, protecting your investments, protecting your, uh, you know, defending or protecting something, you know, it just makes me think that it's in terms of of safeguarding your finances, perhaps, for your family. 
So this is an interesting reading with big ideas with the major arcana of reflection, time to take stock. There's always room for transformation, for rebirth, for trying something new and getting to your best, you know, your best you. To a wish is coming true, to more reflection, to this little gentle reminder to be active, get involved, don't be stuck to too much underneath the tree by yourself. Get back in the game. And while you're back in the game, there's perhaps something that you're going to have to be uh, dealing with where you're defending ideas or you're protecting yourself or your family. You may be expecting maybe something to happen. So let's get some more information from the Oracle cards. This is the Osho Zen. It's a wonderful deck. I highly recommend it. And I have a link to all of the decks that I use uh, in this video. Thunderbolt. So I'm looking at this Thunderbolt illustration. Lightning, people, Falling, uh, you know, it is transformation. It is a foundation that is impacted, that may be swept away in order for something else to come, but this is, you know, a transformation happening within you. You may be uh, thinking in a new way. You may need to clear away some, some things in your life that you feel that are not quite working for you. So to transform, it's to make changes after we reflect and sometimes thunderbolts, they happen out of the blue. So maybe you've been thinking about making changes and maybe change is coming to you and you're, you know, it just happens. And it's a matter of how you react to it and how you deal with it, really, that's important. So I'd like to choose a spirit card, and this card is for emotional self or spiritual self, and we can get a little more information. This says, be proud. It's time to celebrate all that you've achieved, all that you are, and all that you will become. Every once in a while, it's important to stop and acknowledge what you've achieved and to be proud. And, you know, I would, um, I would couple this card with the Nine of Cups, which is, he seems to be content. And one really never knows uh, really what's going on behind the scenes. But uh, whatever you're working on, protecting and uh, taking care of the family, being active and taking the time to work on yourself, reflecting on your life, what you're doing. That's wonderful because everyone should be doing that. And so be proud of what you're doing and the work that you're doing. It takes time to make big changes. And finally, let's choose a love oracle. This is the Whispers of Love. Treasure your loved ones. It's important to love others deeply. So whoever you are in love with, <laughs> your, your spouse, your children, your family, your friends, the people that you love, honor them, respect them, let them know how you feel. Life is short and sometimes things happen and you don't get that chance. So take the opportunity to tell the people that you love how much you love them. I'm going to put that here. Uh, but Sagittarius, you have a very interesting reading because it's a, a lot of thinking, a lot of reflection, some action, and some wishes coming true. And so there, I do get a sense that change is going to be coming. may not be this week, but it's... Uh, 
you know, headed your way. Show some love. Be proud of what you do. And it should be an awesome week. So I hope you found something helpful here today with this reading. If you did, please subscribe, like, share, or comment, and check out my other readings. And uh, I will see you soon. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.